What's going on everyone? I'm back here with another iPod unboxing and the iPod that I'm going to be unboxing today is the seventh generation iPod Nano. Uh, so I actually picked this up used off of eBay for $44 with free shipping and I was actually shocked that I managed to get it at that price because a lot of the seventh generation iPod Nanos usually go for between about $80 to $150, give or take, depending on which model you get. Um, so yeah, this is the 16 gigabyte configuration uh, with the blue anodized aluminum case. So the main reason why I picked this up is because I'm wanting to essentially have a compact music device uh, that I could use while I'm jogging or something like that. And it has Bluetooth built in. Uh, like we all know. So that was another reason why I got this. Now, one of the other things you may notice, I did pick up the 6th generation iPod Nano. As you can see here, I unboxed this a few weeks ago. Um, and I like the design of this one, but it doesn't have Bluetooth. And I'm wanting to use my Bluetooth headphones uh, while I'm on the go. Uh, so that's kind of the biggest reason why I picked this particular iPod Nano up. So let's go ahead and get it out of this plastic bag here and see what kind of shape it's in so um, it they did state it does have a crack on the screen as you can see here there's a hairline crack that goes from the bottom right up to the top left um, and I was aware of that so I knew that was there and I really don't care about that so you if you find iPod nanos uh, with a cracked screen such as this uh, you usually can get them for significantly cheaper uh, than ones without a cracked screen so uh, this isn't too bad. It's not really that bothersome uh, for what I'm going to be using it for. Um, but the overall condition for that $44 price, I'm actually in shock. I mean, the back of this, as you can see, there's very, very little scratching. Um, there's a little bit of a nick right here on the top. That's nothing pretty major. Um, but other than the crack on the screen, this thing is in really, really good shape. Now, it did not come with any headphones or a charging cable, but yeah... Um, so I'm really eager to try this out. Well, let's see if it has any power on here. There we go. So it does have some battery power. So while that's booting up, let's compare uh, the size to the 6th generation iPod Nano. So as you can see, there is a bit of a size difference here. Uh, the 6th gen, of course, is significantly smaller uh, because of the fact that the screen is smaller and there is no home button. Um, but one thing you do lose with the 7th gen is the fact of the clips. So the 6th generation had a built-in clip on the back that you could easily make the iPod wearable. So you could clip it on your shirt, your belt, or anything of such, and you'd be good to go. Uh, whereas the 7th gen, we do not get that, unfortunately. But there are third-party cases that you can pick up for this that actually add a clip to the back of it. Uh, so you can actually do that, which is quite nice. Um, another thing you notice, the home screens are actually significantly different. So as you can see on the 7th gen, we have round icons. 6th gen, we have square, kind of iOS 5, iOS 6 type icons. And the overall design of these two devices are, again, very similar. Uh, but again, see the volume buttons are different. So the 6th gen iPod Nano kind of has the same design as what you'd see with, say, an iPhone 4 or a 4S. Uh, because of the rounded volume up and down buttons. Whereas the 7th gen has more of the iPod touch type buttons. As you can see here, the color matched buttons on the side. And then the color matched button on the top. So, uh, quickly given a quick hardware tour. So you do have a home button here. Uh, then you have the 2.5 inch LCD display. Which is not a retina display, unfortunately. Um, then you have the sleep wake button here on the top right. And then on the left side, we have the volume controls which also double as a play pause button. Uh, so in the middle here, you could press it once and it'll pause and play the track. You could double press it and it'll jump forward or you could triple press to go back and rewind a track. So that's pretty cool. And on the back here, you have this little white strip and that is what allows this iPod Nano to have Bluetooth. So that is a really, really nice thing to have on this particular Nano. And on the bottom, you have your lightning connector and 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So, now this does retain all of the features of the 6th gen, such as the FM radio. Now, you still do have to have a pair of wired headphones to use that. So, you cannot use your Bluetooth headphones 
uh, and listen to the FM radio, unfortunately. I was kind of hoping for that, but unfortunately you are not uh, able to do that. Um, then you still have all the same stuff. You have the music icon, videos, fitness, podcast, photos, radio clock, as well as settings. But one new thing with the 7th gen that the 6th gen can't do is the fact that you can play videos on it. So you can play uh, movies and TV shows, which is really, really neat. I'm not sure that you'd actually want to watch a movie or a TV show on such a small screen. Um, I'm sure you'd probably want to do that on your iPhone or iPad if you have one of those. Um, but it's nice that it brings back video capabilities. And real quick, the way to connect a Bluetooth headset is really simple. You just go into the settings application and right on the very top here you see a Bluetooth section. And then all you do is turn on the switch and it'll, there you go. So then it's now searching for Bluetooth devices. But yeah, that's basically it for this unboxing video. So yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys have enjoyed once again. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button right down below. It's greatly appreciated. Uh, hit that thumbs up button as well. That's also greatly appreciated. And if you guys have any questions, comments, or anything of such, just drop those in the section below, and I will get back to them as soon as I can. So, yes, with that all being said, once again, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.